Hello there. Listen to that noise. Loud, isn't it? That's the sound of my Windows computer starting up. Kingston got in touch with me and asked me whether or not I'd like to review one of their solid state hard drives. And given that this noise plagues me every time I start up my Windows machine, I agreed to do the review. So in this video I'm going to do a little bit of a review of the UV500 SSD drives provided to me by Kingston. They're not paying me for this review, they just sent me this drive. And in the process, I'm going to show you the benefits of installing a solid state drive in your computer and also actually show you how to do it, how to copy your entire Windows partition to the new drive as quickly and easily as possible. It's a really straightforward procedure. I'm going to show you everything, including how to actually swap the drives over so you can do the same thing and get rid of this ridiculous noise. So firstly, this is the drive they've sent me. As I said, it's called the UV500. They've sent me the 480 gigabyte model. So this particular one that they've sent me actually includes the solid state drive and also um, an upgrade kit as well. So it's actually got an external drive enclosure. Um, it's also got a metal tray for you to put the solid state drive on when you install it in your desktop computer. It's got power and data cables. I didn't realize that this would come with an external enclosure. That's pretty cool actually. So if you don't want to use the drive in your desktop computer, you can just use it like a normal USB data storage or backup drive, which is pretty cool. But I desperately need this as a solid state drive in my Windows computer. Now, one of the things that jumped out at me was this figure up here in the top right hand corner, where it says that the drive is 10 times faster than a 7200 RPM spinning disk hard drive. Um, it sounds like one of those kind of made up stats, uh, but as you'll see in this video, it's actually true. Now obviously Kingston is a well-known memory and hardware manufacturer. They're very trustworthy. This particular drive comes with a five-year warranty. So the actual drive itself is extremely light, like surprisingly light. It's incredibly small, it's two and a half inches. And I was quite surprised to find that it's actually compatible with my desktop computer, which is pretty old now, like five or six years old. As long as you've got SATA connectors on your computer and a sort of up-to-date PSU, you should be all right. But there is actually a guide on the Kingston website where you can put in your motherboard and it tells you which solid state drives are compatible with your particular motherboard. So the first thing to do when you're installing a new solid state drive is to obviously unplug your computer because you're not going to do this while it's on or you might damage the computer or electrocute yourself. So unplug it, take off the case and then you can see all the fancy electrical components and cards and things inside your computer. If you've never done this, don't be scared. Um, also, don't electrically charge yourself and then destroy all the components in your computer. So it's a good idea to buy one of these, I've forgotten what they're called, but it's like a little wristband that basically earths you, discharge any charge that's built up, you know, from like rubbing balloons or shuffling along the carpet or something like that. Here you can see the old noisy spinning disk drives. So in order to use this solid state drive in my ATX case, which is a fancy name for the size of my particular dated 90s computer case, you need to use this little metal tray. So there are screws provided to allow you to attach the solid state drive to the little metal tray. And this is what you will later slide into your computer case. But for now, I'm just going to rest it at the side of the computer because I'm not sure which of the drives in my computer actually contain my Windows operating system the one I want to clone basically. I then start up my Windows computer and download a piece of software called Macrium Reflect 7 Free Edition. So this is a great piece of software that will clone or copy your entire drive, including all the sort of hidden stuff that you don't know about, the what's called the boot sector, which is what tells your computer how to actually start running Windows. The software is really straightforward to use. You just select your old drive and the partition that actually contains your Windows installation. There's then an option to clone the drive. You then select your new drive, which in this case is the fancy new solid state Kingston drive. All the default settings were correct for me. You then basically click go and it starts the copying process. Now, a little word of advice, make sure you click the correct partitions. 
I clicked the incorrect partition and started copying a load of just random data from another drive onto the new solid state drive. Uh, started it at 8 in the evening, thinking it would be a fast process. I warn you now, it's not. I had to start it again the next day. It took about four and a half hours to copy over all the data from my old Windows partition. I wasn't quite sure it had worked because the new solid state drive wasn't actually coming up in uh, in Windows, but there was only one way to test. But before I did that, I wanted to do a comparison to really show you the advantages of a solid state drive. It claims to be 10 times faster. Right. Well, let's have a look at how long it takes for my Windows 10 computer to actually start up using my standard spinning disk hard drive. So you can see that in addition to being incredibly noisy, it takes about a minute to get from pressing the button to the login screen for Windows 10, which is quite significant. I usually just leave it running and go and make a pot of coffee or something. Right, now I need to unplug the old spinning disk drive. So here I've screwed in the new solid state drive. Doesn't it look pretty? I really had no idea how sort of compact and light these new solid state drives were. As a side point, I was quite surprised at the price as well because I've had to upgrade the solid state drive on my Mac in the past and let me tell you they are significantly more expensive. But anyway, now the new drive is in, let's turn on the computer. Okay, so the first thing to notice is it's completely silent. That annoying sort of machine gun noise has disappeared and left just the quiet whir of my computer fan. Now, I've actually put the microphone right next to my computer case here with the cover off. So this isn't really a fair test. If anything, this is doing the solid state drive down. I can tell you that with the outer case on, my computer is now virtually silent. No spinning disks, no accessing sounds, just the very quiet hum of the PSU. In fact, my television, which is what I use as a computer screen, is actually now louder than my computer. This has been a complete success in that regard. But sound isn't everything, and this claims that the drive is going to be 10 times faster. So uh, let's start up the computer and see what happens. the beginning parts of the booting process are actually nothing to do with the solid state drive. I have to say that my computer now boots up in absolute record time. And we're not talking about something kind of imperceivable or something that you would quickly get used to. My computer is silent and lightning fast since this upgrade. I'm absolutely, I'm grateful to Kingston for sending me this drive and I'm absolutely blown over uh, that it's had such an effect. My computer is actually much more responsive now as well, just loading directories, loading programs and things. If you are using a spinning disk drive in your Windows computer, I strongly recommend that you upgrade to a solid state drive. Uh, and, you know, since I've been looking at this one and this has gone so well and it's so quiet and so fast, I guess I have to recommend this Kingston UV500 drive, for which I will leave a link down below. And as you can see, using Macrium Reflect 7 Free Edition, it's incredibly easy to just copy your old drive onto your new one. And the actual sort of technical process of installing the new drive is really straightforward. Anyway, let me know if you get a Kingston drive to replace your old one. Let me know what kind of speed increase you get with your Windows boot time. Is it as dramatic as mine? I'm incredibly grateful to Kingston for sending me this uh, because 
I could practically sleep in that room next to that computer now. In fact, I might just go and sleep next to it now. The uh, gentle hum will probably send me off to sleep. Thanks for watching, do subscribe, and I shall see you next time for another video.